Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Smitty, coming at you from right outside the New York Stock Exchange on this a beautiful Thursday morning. Things are heating up outside. It's unseasonably hot. It's humid. It's like 98 degrees in the Big Apple, the Big Baked Apple in September. But you know what? Very soon it's going to be cold, so you got to enjoy it as much as you can. And speaking of cold, the markets have been cold a lot as of late, so you know what? Let's take a look right now to see how the markets are shaping up on this, the second to last trading session of the week. And uh, yeah, stay dry out there, my friends. NASDAQ futures taking a hit this Thursday set to build on yesterday's third straight day of losses. U.S. jobless claims falling for a fourth straight week to 216,000. That's the lowest level since February. While investors continue to look over potential interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve later this month. Apple down 3% pre-market amid news that China is planning to ban iPhone usage for state-owned corporations. And Wells Fargo upgrading McDonald's to overweight from equal weight citing menu innovation amongst other things. Stocks in Asia lower after Chinese imports and exports fell 7.3% and 8.8% year over year respectively. And markets in Europe are mixed after the final Eurozone inflation figure showed the economy grew 0.1% in the second quarter, lower than preliminary readings. And lastly, some advice, and maybe you it here in the Big Apple, but take it all in before we all start to freeze.